three days, dude. Might even be as good as Western Cafe. Hey guys, welcome back to the tent. We're we're here yeah. today. Uh, mm -hmm. Marcus and Jace, they're gonna go hunt together this morning. Randy's gonna go drop them off in the JB. His sweet, sweet jet boat that saved our butts last night. And uh, I'm gonna stay at camp and try and tinker with my boat and get her started. Um, I shot a buck yesterday. If you haven't watched that episode, go back yeah. and do it before you watch this one. But we're out here, general deer season in Montana. Great times, great times with the boys. Really, Michael's happy because today is November 16th and it's payday. Yeah, oh, it is. All right, let's go. Let's go. What? Back in. Okay. Three bucks and two does. Three by three. I'm almost positive I saw three bucks, so. Oh, that's a little one there. Forky. You looking? It's like really narrow. No, he's a 4x4. Four four. He's a solid buck. That's a different buck. He's got nice forks on both ends. Mm -hmm. I'd shoot that one. Yeah? Hey, you're not going to shoot him. I'm not shooting him. I mean, he looks good to me. He's a cool buck. He like his front forks like curl, and he's pretty tall. Mm -hmm. Nervous about those other bucks. Jay. The story is that we were just about to our drop off point. Marcus spotted about five or six bucks across the way here with a bunch of does, and they're rutting really good. And he found one really decent four point that I liked. Marcus said he doesn't want to shoot them, so they're not on public right now. So uh, we can't just go right in after them, otherwise, I would because that four point that is up there. He's a nice one. I'd be more than happy to shoot him. So, but it's it's a little spot of private. So we surrounded by all public. So I think we're just gonna go across and maybe get up there. Or I don't know. I feel like once we get over there and start moving around, we'll probably find more deer. So there's plenty of them <coughs> out here. For sure. This will be Does I know? Okay, yeah, I got you. Okay. Michael. All right, give me that camera. <laughs> I made it across, and I think that we're gonna find a lot of deer. I'm hoping so because you guys saw a lot of deer out here. Michael and I hiked our butts off yesterday, and we hardly saw any deer. We we found one, the one that mattered though. So 
that worked out. But I'm excited to hopefully see just a, a bunch of blocks running around today. So, I'm gonna head up this drainage. started hiking up this this ridge to get try to get eyes on those bucks we saw from the river and Marcus spotted them as soon as we popped over here. There's a three by three in there. It's a pretty nice one and then the four by four that we saw earlier that I'd, I'd really like to shoot that one. So they're still on the private but we're kind of hopefully making our way up to the top and they'll kind of meet us on the public. I think we're gonna keep heading up and hopefully hopefully they'll come on our side of the boundary sooner than later well this morning we're off to a really good start i just hauled jace and marcus up the river to the spot marcus and jace wanted to go to and when i dropped them off we saw five bucks so they're fired up i come back to camp michael got a great big rock out of his impeller and he fired up the the, the boat and his boat is ready, but right now Michael and I are gonna sneak up river. I told Marcus, ah, I'm probably not gonna hunt this morning. Or I implied that. I don't know that I, I didn't wanna commit I wasn't gonna hunt. I said, priority we gotta get Michael's boat fixed. Well, Michael already got that done, so Michael and I are going up the river. I got a tag, I got a rifle. Michael filled his tag yesterday. He broke the ice, man. Let's go. Go get him. Yesterday, Marcus and I saw four or five bucks in here in the morning. Relocated one of them in the evening and uh, hoping that there's some of them that want to be relocated again today because I'd just take the boat right over there. And Oh yeah, good buck. That's a nice buck. He's at least four on one side. Watch if he does with that though. As high up as he is, he's well in the public. That's good. Really need him. Is that in focus? Yeah. That other guy is coming in for. Action. He's gonna have to fight for it if he doesn't do it pretty very oh. Come on, buddy. What the hell? That's a nice buck. He's gonna have to fight for it if he doesn't get it done there pretty quick, like I got up there horning the brush and displaying. That gal is just standing there like what's taking oh here we go, there we go.
two by three four. see where they bed okay and then I might go on a stock right now I'm keep looking I actually think the one you run off is a bigger buck I'd like to relocate that one also Well, Michael thinks we should go on a stock because there's two mature, very nice bucks way up on top of that bench. Not on the bench, but just below it. And I'm agreeing with him. So we're going to load up our stuff, motor across the river down here to the public, beach the boat, and we're going to go kind of angle northwest. So northwest, we got an east wind today. The deer are over here to our northeast, but we can't see where they bedded, so we're going to go up northwest, get to the top bench, and then wind in our face, just on our way, looking down into everything. See if we can find him, Michael. Let's do it. I'm gonna stay behind this ridge and get up here. Because they could have, once they disappeared, they could have went any direction from there.
they're that way about 600 yards and about 150 feet of elevation below us, I think. Let me make sure I get the framing right real quick. So if you stand. What's that? Alright, I'm gonna do it here in a second. Alright. Hey, right. I'm gonna shoot. Do you have one in the chamber? What? You have one in the chamber? Yeah. Okay. Here I go. Meh, 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 meh.
Nice that dropped him. Nice work. Randy. That is an old, old ancient buck. Oh man. You gotta love it when a stock comes together and everything happens perfectly. I don't know what happened with that first shot. I hope I didn't hit him too far back. We got deer all over down below us. Congrats, man. Tough sweet. Thanks, Michael. <laughs> I, uh, I couldn't get him to stand up, so I told Michael, stand up, profile yourself. And uh, that did the trick. Great that was stock. a ton of fun. Yeah, that uh, was a lot of fun. We plotted this stock from down across the river. We saw the wind was going this way. So we made a huge loop. And when we crossed this really open spot over there, he, uh, he stayed bedded. I, don't, <laughs> I guess as long as your doe is bedded, you stay bedded. And uh, we got footage of him, well, doing his business with that doe multiple times this morning and uh anyhow we gotta he's right down off that lip there i say we go off this way huh Yep, he's the buck we saw yesterday. What a big body, holy cow. This thing is a tank. Just like I thought he was. Wow, many body sizes, he's a whopper. Oh yeah. We saw him fight off or scare off. A buck that was definitely a much better buck than this one, if you're looking for score, but that buck is like, I want no part of him. Oh. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, Michael. Thank you, Mr. Buck. Thank you. We'll let you get your business done down here this morning. November. The interesting part is, for the previous four years, I've passed on deer. Because every deer I had a chance at, I thought was a young three-and-a-half-year-old, maybe four-and-a-half-year-old buck. This one here, I think, is older than Methuselah's grandmother. And uh, just watching him up here run off all the other deer, the fact that he's just a great, I mean, look how big of a two by four, two by three he is. He doesn't have any eye guards. He's just, <laughs> all right, Michael, we got the, got the tag took care of. And what do I do with my baggie that I had it in so that it doesn't fly away? Well, we just got done quartering and take care of this humongous body on this big old Roman nose buck. We got Michael shot his buck yesterday. I shot mine today. We haven't got a message from Jace or, or Marcus yet, uh, but we've, We've got lots of deer to, to look at. There's very few other hunters. I think we've seen maybe four or five hunters a day. Uh, and we're having a lot of fun. Michael, you having fun? Oh yeah. I'm gonna ask you that same question when we get down to the boat. Michael, is, he says, look, I'm 30 and you're 130. I'm carrying blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, I guess if that's what you wanna do, I'm not here to stop you, but don't be mad at me when you're, regretting it down at the river <laughs> thanks for following along folks hope you're out there having some fun just like we are
as I've said a thousand times, I'm the luckiest guy who ever landed on this planet. And every day, it's my job to remind myself of how lucky I am. Hopefully, others think about themselves and they realize how lucky they are. No matter how tough we have it, we probably can find something that's a bright point. And some of us have it easier and better than others. So, if you're one of those people who have it better than others, smile and be happy. And uh, just continue to be a positive smile for everybody, every day. But we live in the greatest country in the world and we get to do some of the most unbelievable things. So, let's all give three cheers for the red, white, and blue. All those veterans. It was Veterans Day last week. Hope you all gave a big thank you to them. And uh, I'm ready to go to camp. And then I'm going to have to be the taxi driver here in about an hour. So we better get motoring, huh? We've got about an hour left to daylight. Sun's just starting to set. Um, Marcus spotted that four point buck from this morning, but it has not left the private yet. It's such a small piece and he's just been in there all day, it seems like it. So I think what we're gonna do is just start working our way back down to this uh, creek bottom and get out to the river, hunt our way back to the river. It looks like Randy pulled up kind of at a rendezvous spot. so. He's probably doing a little glassing slash hunting for the last couple, for the last hour. So we'll eventually meet him down there. So, but let's hope we find a buck on the way out here. I think, I think it's possible. So. Hey buddy. Dead buck? No. No? He's such a jokester. Yeah, he was messing around <laughs> with us for the longest time. Really? Man, I saw this giant two by three. It was so sweet, but I don't know. I just like <laughs> <laughs> halfway back up. I shot that bug. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. It's like That's so cool. This frame is large. <laughs> Uh oh This happened? thing was running around the woods about an hour ago. <laughs> oh! Why didn't you just wait? <laughs> mm. I'm gonna wait. My goodness! Mm. <laughs> Eat it up. Or drink it up. Well, since Michael carried most of my deer off the hill, I figured the least I could do is offer some of it up for dinner and do the cooking. Nearly cut the end of my thumb off, but these guys administered first aid here. So I think I'm gonna make it. But anyhow, folks, a couple lessons from today. Go and have fun, whatever it is. Whatever deer you wanna shoot, that's the deer you shoot. Don't worry about what someone else thinks. Right? I told these guys I wanted to shoot some great big and ugly looking snaggle tooth. I, I, I wanted the biggest 3x3 three three or 4K in the world. So I got a 3x2. <laughs> and I'm a, a sweet, sweet buck. Me <laughs> the super and cool I'm buck. as happy as can be. Michael got a buck. I got a buck. Jason, Marker, I don't know what the hold up is, but 
<laughs> well, we'll see. Tomorrow, Jace is Right now, we're on pace one buck a day. Tomorrow, I'll I'll pick up the third day. You're you're gonna yeah. grab a hold of the rope and pull yeah. tomorrow. Yep. All right. Jace is gonna have his shoulder to the wheel tomorrow. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for watching.